Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to demonstrate power line communication for a data signal using ASK modulation technique, the amplitude shift keying technique. So for the data I am using Arduino Uno, I am transferring 9600 baud data from the Arduino Uno. I am transferring alphabet R from the Arduino Uno. So as you can see here, from the TX pin I am sending the data and the data is reaching to this optocoupler. You can see the data is reaching to this optocoupler. The LED is flashing and it is indicating there is a presence of data. So the output of this optocoupler is fed to the 555 timer IC. As you can see here, this is the 555 timer IC. You can see beneath, this is the 555 timer IC and the 555 timer IC is connected in a stable multivibrator mode. This 555 timer IC is working as an oscillator, oscillating at a frequency of 48 kHz. I will be showing the circuit diagram soon, it will be clear. So the data is connected to pin number 4 of 555 timer IC and from the pin number 3 of 555 timer IC I am getting the modulated signal. The signal with data and the carrier both. So you can see from the pin number 3 I am connecting this current remitting resistance and a 10k resistance pulled down to the ground and here is my power MOSFET. The source of the power MOSFET is connected to ground and the drain of the power MOSFET is connected to this high frequency transformer. So this is the high frequency transformer responsible for communication of the data signal. So, so this transformer is responsible to handle both power and data. Since this is a power line communication project, this transformer will be handling power as well as the data. You can see this is the transformer. So let us look into the circuit diagram now. So as you can see here, the Arduino Uno is transmitting data and the data is fed to this optocoupler NCT2E. The collector of this optocoupler is connected is connected to the pin number 4 of 555 timer IC. You can see this is how the wiring is. It is connected to pin number 4 of 555 timer IC. The pin number 3 of the 555 timer IC is giving the modulated signal. And this is the data signal in or the modulating signal. And this is an oscillator oscillating at a frequency of 48 kilohertz. So the output is fed to 330 ohms resistance and a pull down resistance 10k. And it is fed to the MOSFET IRF 840. The drain of the MOSFET is connected to this transformer and other end of the transformer is connected to the 12 volt bus. The secondary of this transformer is connected to the oscilloscope and we can see this is the data signal and carrier signal inside. You can see the data is in, the, the carrier signal is encapsulated in the data signal. So this is how the this is how the waveform should look like. So now let us see the multimeter readings and then we will be seeing the oscilloscope data. So you can see at the secondary of the transformer I am getting 15 volts AC signal and my frequency is 50 kilohertz. So this is the frequency at the transformer secondary. You can see this is the frequency at the transformer secondary. And if you see this is the duty cycle. The, the duty cycle is changing constantly because there is a data presence. You can see the voltage is also changing because of the data presence. The frequency is also changing because there is a data presence. So let us look into the waveform. So as you can see this is the waveform. This is the waveform I have obtained. So here you can see this is the, out, the voltage at the output of the transformer. Here is the carrier signal and here is the data signal. The carrier is encapsulated inside the data. You can see very clearly you can see the ASK signal. So this is the ASK signal at the secondary of the transformer. Let us see the circuit diagram again. So this 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 waveform is available here. Is available here at the secondary of this transformer. So this is how the power line communication signal after modulation is obtained using ASK modulation technique. Let us see the waveform again. So you can see this is the waveform and the waveform is very clear. You can see you can see the waveform has a positive and negative polarity as well. See this is the center line. It is on the positive half and on the negative half as well. You can see. So this is how we can obtain the modulation using ASK modulation technique. The carrier frequency is 48 kilohertz and the data is 9600 baud data. Thanks a lot. Thanks for watching. 
in the next video i am going to show how to demodulate this signal and how to extract power from this signal thanks a lot thanks for watching